Tell me about the it's what, 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 uh, one man show. Tell me about the main character, his name, and 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 what he's kind of about. Well, uh, it, I mean, it's all based on a real person, uh, a very good friend of mine called Jasper Reese, and so the character is called Jasper. Um, the actor's name is Jonathan Guy Lewis. He, because it's a one-man show, he plays 10, 12 different characters during the show. He's an absolute genius with um, voice and, uh, you know, changing himself into different characters. Um, Jasper is a writer. He's a, a professional uh, arts journalist and a writer. He, he recently published the um, bio, official biography of Victoria Wood. But um, back in the day, about 15 years ago, he wrote this book, I Found My Horn, after having this odyssey of his own picking up the, the instrument after a very long gap and uh, you know he had such an extraordinary experience that it, it naturally turned into a fantastic book which, which appeals to everybody not just to musicians because it's a, a kind of classic universal story of uh, how to create a, a challenge a meaningful challenge for yourself when you're in the middle of a, of a life crisis what, what would you hope people coming to see the play are going to leave feeling or learning one of the things that, that I have to say about the play is it's very, very funny. So um, apart from anything else, it's the kind of 80-minute show where you, you absolutely leave your troubles and your, your, your worries at the door. And for 80 minutes, the performance will just take, take you away from um, the, the troubles and stresses of the day. On the other hand, the great thing about the story that, that has this universal quality of um, what do you do when you're, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You, you just have that feeling of, I've got to do something, otherwise I'm just stuck. And um, in a funny way, you know, stories like this can sometimes give people inspiration to, to take a look. I, I cannot tell you the number of times people have come to see this show and, and afterwards they've said, you know what, I, I gave up the violin, I gave up singing in a choir, I gave up writing poetry. I, I somehow, it's a very universal thing that people at some point in their lives, leave behind something really dear to them, really soulful and meaningful, and later, rather like a wonderful book that you once read and, and, and you've put, left it on the shelf, they go back to that experience. They go start singing in the choir again. They start starting to write po or paint a, just paint a little watercolour. And um, it, it reawakens something that is, that's been lost or that's just gone AWOL for a bit. And I think that is the... You know, uh, you can't legislate for the experience that audiences have, but many, many people who've seen the play over the years have told us that, that it meant a lot to them to see somebody uh, go through a difficult time and emerge really more themselves than when they, than when they started. There you go. I Found My Horn is on from the 31st of this month at the White Bear until the 11th of February. 